Hello, Super Tech Boys. We've got a new product in, and it's the Yes Lamp Evo Professional Natural Spectrum Lamp. And you've got new Evo, new evolution of desk lamp here. You can see here on the front, there's a lot of stuff going on. And it's a pretty plain package, as you can see. That's pretty much it. It's in black. And what we're going to do is unbox. So let's get into it. And show you what I thought about it. This came about via Kickstarter and it looks pretty cool as it has got some features. Now, we've done lots of lamps here on site. And first up here, we get this buckle here, which shows a bit more. It's got a user manual and your packet list and your construction. Pretty simple clamping um, setup here, which uh, most of my lights are. And you've got a screen. Uh, you have two screens and you've got the USB charging port as well, your power in and your clock setting buttons there. And that's pretty much it, it's pretty simple, it's a simple and adjustable which we're going to be looking at. So you've got your clock as well, which requires a CR2032 battery. And that's pretty much it, you've got an alarm clock as well and a measuring range of hygrometer and that's pretty much it. So you can set your time, all that kind of stuff there, pretty much standard. And that's it. So you've got your lighting as well. So let's have a bit of a closer look and see what we've got inside. So first up is our mains adapter by the looks of it. And second is our clamp. So it's three straightforward clamp system there which we will unravel um, of two or three days as a set up here quite similar just get the thickness of this table here as we already have a lamp in place here with another one in our other setup as well but it's the same kind of setup too so we'll be turning this off and putting this new one on once we get it up and running so we'll just move all this stuff out of the way have a look at the main lamp itself. So once we get all this packed and out of the way, we will have this space. Alright, so we have got some protection on it which we're going to remove. Pop it down there. And in essence, this is what we have here. So on the back, you've got your buttons here to change things. We've got another button here. So you've got a pull tab here. So I'm presuming there might be a battery pre-installed. You've got your power input here. And up front here, you can see that we've got our output for charging, which is pretty cool. On and off, up and down, and your two displays. And the function here, so you can fold it here like so and fold it again so the difference with this one is here you can twist it both ways so if you can imagine it's on here now you can have the light facing down you can put it at any angle and it also goes back up as well and twists left and right and of course you have this arm here to move it around as well so we're going to get it set up and put up and we'll be back after the break Okay, so we're back now with the lamp set up and as mentioned earlier on, you can see we've got the date and time, temperatures here and all that kind of stuff. Your controls are all up front. This is the most handy part for me too, but it's got a six axis movement. So you can move this part here, this head here, twist it both ways here and so on. You can turn it this way and you can bend it down and bend it back. On the back, mentioned earlier, there's a tap area touch sensitive area which changes the brightness of the lights as you can see there and with the buttons on the back you can change the date and time just by pressing there you've got different mode options to go in and change like so for your alarm so you can move down through like so 60 seconds and all that kind of stuff in there which is pretty handy so it's pretty simple to use set up and so on You've got your brightness up and down here with the lamp as you can see 
and it's changing tones. This doesn't hurt your eyes like other lights would due to the configuration on it, which is great. And it can be used anywhere, which is really important because it's got natural spectrum lighting and 60 LED beads and also very bright and a dual screen with five color modes and five brightness steps as you'd see in there. So you can change up and down here. And that's all the brightness steps down there. I'm not going to blind you by turning the face on. And that's pretty much it. All there is to it. You can switch it on and off here too. Like so, which is pretty handy. And you can set the brightness. And again, you can change the brightness of this as you've just seen. So overall, it's super flexible. It's one of the most flexible lights that I have. The one I'm actually currently using is nowhere near as flexible as this. And only works on one axis, really, with a flexible um, bar. Um, a similar one that I've done before, which you would have seen review, has four axes. This has got six. So for me, this really makes life a lot easier. Gives you more portability, more flexibility, and more use case scenarios um, than you would. Then you've got the benefit of the clock, the temperature, all the other options here. And this is what I want to talk about next, which I found really handy. So this just pops in and out here like so. It's very solid. And we're going to show you what this does next. So you can plug in anything. USB. So we're going to plug in here and test this. And charge the Apple Watch. I'm just going to move in a bit closer. And there we go. Apple Watch is charging. Excellent. So if you're working at a desk and want a nice tidy and clean cell, it's what you need. Next up, USB-C. So we're going to try everything here just to make sure everything is fine and that you can see yourself. You can see earbuds are charging, USB-C. And finally, going to charge the iPhone. So we get the iPhone and pop it in. iPhone is charging. And then just to be sure, for those who will want to know, you've seen it charges USB-C devices. So we're gonna pop in our other phone here, which is USB-C, and you can see that that's charging as well. So that's basically it. It's a really cool light, and as you can see there, it's got all the functions there. You've got the natural spectrum lighting, which is different through the CRI, or the Color Rendering Index, which is pretty good, and it's better than the conventional LED lights, and will distort color of materials. So that's pretty much about it, and how you do it. And it's a really nice, cool, cool lamp, to be fair. It does a really good job. And that's about it. So just show you how flexible this can go. Like you can bend this forwards, backwards, and you can turn this again, as you've seen, both directions or any direction here. You've got the additional movements here. I'll just pop that in properly. So you can bend this down, bend it up on that axis there. So you can have a lowered, more stable setup. And I'm just going to bend it up here. Bend it here, so you can get an idea of how much you can actually manipulate the light to move in certain directions and have light in certain ways, whichever suits you best. And I love the way you can adjust the time on it too here, the brightness as well. And the alarm is decent, as you would have heard there by the sounds. That's how loud it is, but repetitive beeps. So that about wraps it up, and thanks for watching. I'm going to see you in the next video on techbuzzorn.com, and we'll talk to you then. So, just a couple of close-ups after that, there's our phone charging, you've got your clock on front which can be changed to 12 or 24 hour format, whichever suits yourself or whatever region you might be in, some people like both. You can also change the temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius as well, which is quite handy, again, for those in different reasons. Your buttons on the back there, simple to use, nice and easy to work with. And a couple of closer looks at the joints where you can move it around and twist it about which makes it the really most portable and flexible light I've used. And don't forget the touch screen on the touch button on the back to change the clock time. And some more angles there on the actual unit itself. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.